Simone Sonorit, an enduring symbol of the film industry, captivates audiences with a legacy marked by unwavering talent and profound authenticity. Her timeless contributions resonate across generations, raising the question of what enduring qualities have solidified her as a cinematic icon. Sonorit's ability to breathe life into diverse characters, coupled with a nuanced understanding of human complexities, transcends the temporal confines of classic Hollywood. Her enduring appeal lies not only in the roles she inhabited, but in the profound impact she left on the industry's narrative and representation. As we reflect on this remarkable figure, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to the indelible Mark Simone Sonorit has left on the world of cinema. We would love to hear your stories and insights in the comments below. Simone Sonorit, born to Andrew Kaminker and Georgette Sonorit, had a diverse and challenging career in the film industry. Renowned for her exceptional acting skills, she left a lasting impression on her peers, as noted by actor Philippe Noir in a 1983 interview. Despite her brilliance on screen, Noir highlighted the difficulty of working with Sonorit due to her desire to control every aspect, making collaboration a genuine challenge. Sonorit's early life was marked by academic pursuits, including tutoring in English and Latin. Notably, she managed a part-time role at Le Nouveau Temps, a newspaper published during the German occupation. This period not only showcased her versatility, but also hinted at the resilience that would later define her career. The dynamic nature of Sonorit's personality, as described by Noirte, adds a layer of complexity to her legacy. Her multifaceted talents, ranging from linguistic skills to an astute understanding of the film industry, contributed to her success, but also posed challenges for those working alongside her. Simone Sonorit's journey, from academic endeavors to a formidable force in the film world, reflects her tenacity and passion for her craft. Her impact, both on and off the screen, solidifies her place as a trailblazer in the world of cinema. Simone Sonorit's linguistic prowess extended beyond her on-screen performances. Fluent in French, German, and English, her command over languages was a testament to her versatility. This skill not only facilitated her global recognition, but also showcased her adaptability in navigating the diverse landscapes of the film industry. Beyond language, Sonorit's personal life carried moments of both joy and tragedy. At the age of 24, she gave birth to her first child, a son, in 1945. This event marked a complex chapter in her life, as the child, born of a relationship with her then-married lover Eve Algret, tragically passed away just nine days after birth. Interestingly, Sonorit's influence extended beyond the cinematic realm. A late American singer and composer Nina Simone adopted her stage name, drawing inspiration from the accomplished actress. This connection highlights Sonorit's impact on not only her contemporaries in film, but also on other artists in different creative domains. Simone Sonorit's life, marked by linguistic prowess, personal challenges, and cross-disciplinary influence, adds layers to her legacy. Her ability to transcend language barriers, coupled with her resilience in the face of personal trials, solidifies her as a notable figure not just in cinema but in cultural spheres beyond. This glimpse into Sonorit's multifaceted life sets the stage for a nuanced exploration of her enduring impact. Portrayed on a postage stamp issued on the 3rd of October 1998 by the French Post Office, Simone Sonorit's enduring legacy as a cinematic trailblazer extends beyond the silver screen. The recognition bestowed upon her in the form of a postage stamp signifies not only her impact on French cinema, but also the lasting imprint she left on the cultural landscape. This honor is a testament to Sonorit's significance, with her contributions to film celebrated by a nation that acknowledges her as a symbol of cinematic prowess. Simone Sonorit laid to rest in Pre Lachaise Cemetery in Paris alongside her husband Yves Montand, continues to be a figure of admiration and remembrance. The final resting place of this iconic actress, surrounded by the illustrious company of other notable individuals, serves as a physical representation of her lasting influence. The choice of pre Lachaise Cemetery as her burial site reflects the reverence she commands, with fans and admirers paying homage to her memory in the heart of the French capital. Not only is cinematic luminary Sonorit's personal connections and impact on the industry extended to her friendships and collaborations, her close bond with her lookalike friend Romy Schneider is particularly noteworthy. 
Sonorit's influence went beyond the screen as she played a pivotal role in convincing Schneider to take on her last film, The Passerby, following the tragic death of Sonorit's son. Additionally, Sonorit's daughter, Catherine Algret, shared the screen with Schneider in the film Inferno, showcasing the interconnected relationships within Sonorit's sphere of influence. Simone Sonorit's life, commemorated on a postage stamp, laid to rest in a renowned cemetery, and intertwined with the careers of her peers, stands as a testament to her enduring impact on French cinema and beyond. Her story transcends the confines of the silver screen, leaving an indelible mark on the cultural tapestry of her time. Simone Sonorit, born Ander Kaminker, broke new ground in the film industry with her remarkable performance in Room at the Top. Not only did she become the first French actress to clinch both a BAFTA and a Best Actress Oscar for the same role, but she set a precedent later followed by Marion Cotillard and La Vie en Rose. In the early 1940s, Sonorit strategically adopted her mother's maiden name for film credits to avoid scrutiny from Nazi authorities during the occupation. This decision, born out of necessity, showcased her adaptability and resourcefulness in navigating challenging circumstances. Interestingly, Sonorit's involvement in Zorba the Greek took an unexpected turn. Originally cast as Madame Hortense, she left the production before filming began. The role eventually went to Leela Kedrova, who earned the Best Supporting Actress Oscar. Sonorit's departure added a layer of intrigue to the film's production and marked a deviation from her typical career trajectory. These lesser-known facets of Simone Sonorit's career, from her groundbreaking awards to strategic decisions and unexpected casting choices, contribute to the complex tapestry of her legacy in the cinematic world. Simone Sonorit, a distinguished figure in French cinema, stands among the select few French actors who have earned the prestigious Academy Award. Notably, she is part of an exclusive list, alongside Claudette Colbert, Juliette Binoche, Marion Cotillard, and Jean Dujardin, each recognized for their outstanding contributions to the film industry. Sonorit's achievement in winning an Oscar places her in a lineage of cinematic excellence, showcasing her prowess as an actress on the global stage. Beyond her on-screen success, Sonorit delved into the realm of literature, publishing her autobiography titled La Nostalgie Nest Plus Quelltate in 1976. This insightful work provides a glimpse into the life and perspectives of a woman who not only conquered the film industry but also had a story to tell beyond the silver screen. In addition to her cinematic and literary accomplishments, Sonorit displayed her versatility by earning an Emmy in 1966. Her remarkable achievement came in the category of single performance by an actress, recognizing her captivating portrayal in the TV movie A Small Rebellion. This accolade further solidifies Sonorit's standing as a multifaceted talent, leaving an indelible mark on both film and television. Simone Sonorit's journey, marked by an Academy Award, a literary legacy, and an Emmy win showcases the depth of her contributions to the arts. Her impact resonates not only in the theaters, but also in the pages of her autobiography and the screens of television. As we explore the facets of her career, Sonorit's ability to transcend mediums becomes evident, underscoring her enduring influence on the world of entertainment. As the curtains draw to a close, we find ourselves immersed in the indelible legacy of a luminary, an actress whose brilliance transcends the fleeting frames of celluloid. Simone Sonorit, a name that resonates with the very essence of cinematic artistry, leaves an indelible imprint on the tapestry of entertainment. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey, take a moment to traverse the corridors of your memories. Reflect on the nuanced performances, the characters brought to life, and the profound emotions stirred by this unparalleled talent. Your connection with Sonorit goes beyond the screen. It intertwines with the narratives that have shaped your own story. We invite you to share your cherished recollections and musings, a collective celebration of the artistry that has left an enduring mark on us all. Let your voice join the chorus of those who appreciate the depth and resonance brought forth by Sonorit's portrayals. In this shared space of reminiscence, we find the threads that bind us through the magic of storytelling. In the grand tapestry of entertainment, Simone Sonorit stands as a beacon, illuminating the path for generations to come. Her impact is not confined to the silver screen. It reverberates in the hearts of those who have been touched by the authenticity and brilliance she brought to her craft. 
As we conclude this moment of reflection, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for your time and participation. Your thoughts add another layer to the rich mosaic of appreciation for an actress whose influence transcends time and trends. Thank you for being a part of this homage to a remarkable talent.